Hello everyone and welcome back to Sturdy Valley. Alright. Has the baby still sleeping? Yep. Three days running now. Three days running. Alex, why is he still asleep? Make him wake up. I'm worried about his well-being. Seriously, that, that kid has not woken up once. Since we brought it home from the wherever I gave birth to it. Said I gave birth to it in the middle of the night. I don't know if I like decided to like do it at home or is there did we go to the doctor? Cause there's Harvey, but there's like nobody else. It's like the closest thing to a hospital in this town. I guess. If Mayor Lewis like ever has a heart attack, like he's gonna be in trouble. No hospital? See all my land is becoming unsewed or whatever you call it when you do that. That's not good. I hate redoing that. But soon it shall have to happen. Tis the way. But we'll get to grow exciting new plants and have exciting new adventures. And my trees should produce fruit for the first time. I'm hoping. Yeah, fingers crossed type of thing. Alright, let's put in our very best... Don't eat the blueberry. Put in our blueberries. And then, oh, I meant to put the hops in the fridge as well. We're saving that to make beer, because alcohol's the real money maker. We're smart, so we know that one whole corn that we picked today. How lovely for us. Alright. Alright, let's take care of the animals. It's only 8am. Look what you can do before 8am when you set your mind to it. I will admit right now that I don't like doing things before 8am. At all. So if I can avoid it, I do. Why is it not letting me back out of that one? I don't know. Yeah, I try to avoid doing things early in the morning, if at all possible. Right now, my earliest class that I have is at 1 p.m., I think. It's actually really nice. But that doesn't always work out, you know? Sometimes you don't get a choice. If you need to take it, you need- Wow, you guys trying to truffle out here? That didn't work. Goat. Okay, there we go. We finally, like, got to find out that she had no milk. That, like, took forever. Alright, but the cows all had milk. Did I pet both of the pigs? Nope. Now I have, though. Let me out. We'll cheese these up. No, don't drink it. The battery pack, Miko! Aw, Miko's just laying out in the sun. Such a cute little meower. Alright, let's put the truffles in here. I don't want to sell battery packs, I want to store them, because you can only get a few. I and mean, if I had more lightning rods, I could get more at a time. And I have, like, a fair amount stockpiled also. Oh, we should make our egg into a boiled egg, or a whatever it's called, fried egg. Um, cause we're gonna go mining. With my pickaxe and my sword, I'm gonna go mining. We could go mining at the other mine. Although I don't have a lot of food, and I think I'd want more. I have two pieces of food. Cause you lose energy so fast over there. It's not good. We could try it anyway. You know. Let's go. We're going to the desert. Desert adventures! Cause I need those in my life. Oh, I wanted to bring the rainbow prism here. Cause I'm pretty sure I know what you need to do with it. To get like the super awesome sword. Oh well. I'll remember it eventually. Probably not. Okay, there's this little store down here. And I don't know if it ever sells like different things. But I'm, I'm curious. So we're going to check it out while we're here. 
Um, so rhubarb seeds, spring, summer, beets. That's all she sells. I am still like super curious what's going on back here. Like we can't get past him. I don't know what's back there. I don't know if we'll ever know. I think we are supposed to be able to get back there eventually. Like I think I've heard of people saying that you can. Oh, foraging out here though. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure if you have the rainbow prism and you stand right here, like something happens. That's just what I heard from people. But I left my rainbow prison back at uh, Stardew Valley. And we took a whole long bus just to get over here. So we're gonna go mining. Alright, this... Oh yeah, those guys like don't take damage like weirdos. Oh, we have huge slimes. So... You can never, like, you can never go back to the same, like, level. You have to make your way down each time. And, like, look how many times I can hit them before they die. Uh, about a million. So we need that other, uh, we need that other sword. Because, like, this giant slime probably take me, like, all day just to defeat. And, like, I have... Uh, like, quests to get to, like, level something in these. Oh gosh! None of you. But I'm hoping that this might tell me more about, like, what the sand dragon is. Eventually. Now that we have, like, that quest as well. Also, saving up Iridium to get an Iridium pickaxe would be really helpful. So we can just hit all these things once and be done with them. So we gotta find the exit. And I'd prefer not to set that fly free. Something's happened. Yes! Okay, dragon. Oh my god, I don't want to get hurt every time. Like, they're like the bats, but way more annoying. Way more dangerous. They're like back when we were first starting, that's how dangerous the bats were. These guys. Alright, gotta find this exit. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? If we break enough rocks, we're gonna find it. It's already 1 p.m. 1 30 p.m. too. Like this is taking a really long time. Okay, it's not in here. I really do think it's just a spawn rate. Like, I don't think it has, like, one particular, like, location. Let's see. It was right there. But I can't know that unless I could, like, dig apart the code and know anything about code, which I don't. I know nothing about computer programming, so don't expect me to ever suggest that I do. That is not my area of expertise. Well, so far, things are going okay. I mean, my energy's kind of low, but I thought my health was going to be a problem more so than my energy. So that is kind of nice. But, like, there's, like, an achievement for getting to, like, level 25 in this mine, I think. Like, a quest. Alright, where are you? I could go walking right into it. I heard the sound. I'm just waiting for the little dragon dude. So far that sound has meant dragon dude every time that I escaped. Yeah, so we're on level 5 right now. We need to get to level 25. So I think what you need to do for that is you need to either make or buy lots of bombs. And then just blow shit up. Like quite literally. Just come down and blow everything up to find the exits as fast as possible. I want to kill the slime. It slimed me. Oh god, now I'm starting on the new floor. It's slimed. Yeah, go over there with, like, the horrible thing that I can't kill, because I'm not going to intersect with that. Not my best move. I wonder if each one of these counts as, like, a slime on my, like, total for the quest for the adventures guild. I hope it does. Oh god, I got hurt. Oh 
I'm gonna break open these. Okay, where is it? Yep, there you are. Yeah, buddy. Alright. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what you kind of need to do. So we just got a bomb, but I'm not going to use it here because it's way too, like, tight of a space. This could be a good space to use it, though. Oh, we have three in. We also have a little cherry bomb, which is cute. So, you know, it blows everything up like that, and you can see if the stairs are there, which they're not. But it's a much faster way of mining than doing this, and it doesn't use up all your energy. But it does use up your storage spots. Jiminy Cricket. This exit. Being difficult to find. Maybe with the more rocks you break, the higher your chances of finding it are. Like, if it spawns, so like once you've broken every other rock on the floor, it's like 100%, because otherwise you're stuck. And that would just be sad. Okay, it's 5 p.m. I think the time has come to, like, eat something. Um, a seed has many culinary uses. So let's... Where's my food gone? Here we go. I will eat this. I think this was from a friend. Thank you, friend. You have given me the energy to continue on. Oh, I think this is iridium. It was. It totally was iridium. Okay, so these guys, if I recall correctly, are really annoying because like, you can't actually kill them. You can just like knock them down like that, and then they'll come back eventually. Because, see, it's, it's a miss on him every time. So, I think you can get rid of them if you, like, blow them up. Oh my god, I don't like having two of you. Goodness. Oh god, stop coming back to life. Oh god, my health, my health. Well, this is an interesting way to get a lot of uh, fighting experience. Just, they keep coming back to life, and there are so many of them. So, like, if I put a bomb, like, say, right... Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna miss them. Oh my god, there's a rainbow prism! I died. Dang it. I'm a failure. Yep, I'm in the infirmary. An emergency surgery? I've lost 15 items from my backpack. Yeah, I lost a whole lot of shit from my backpack, including the rainbow prism I found, which was super rare, and the iridium. Or, iridium? Something like that. So I'm just, like, horribly ill now. Yay. Because I went and nearly got myself killed. I lost my sword! I just noticed that it's gone! What? I didn't know you could lose your sword. It's a good sword. Well, next time and now I'm gonna have to take the rainbow thing. I don't care about the copper that much. I think we're just gonna have to call it quits early today. Like, we're sick. We can't take these kinds of risks. We have a little child at home. Alex, I nearly died. You don't even care. You didn't come see me at the hospital. We're going to go sleep for the night because we're so ill. All right. Well, short day. Adventurous one, though. Gonna admit, gotta admit that. All right. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Stardew Valley. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.